Welcome back, Troglodytes, to your daily dose of guitar information, the Trogley's Guitar Show. Happy Fender Friday, everyone. I've got a nice one for you today. I don't know how you guys feel about blue guitars. Sometimes they work for me, sometimes they don't. But take a look at this beautiful thing. This is a Fender Custom Shop master-built Stratocaster in the 1960s style. Now, obviously, they've taken some creative licenses on here because there's no such thing as a Strat that looked like this in 1960, right? But who is responsible for this beast? That'd be this man right here, Yuri Shishkov. He is essentially the top dog. He wears the big hat in the Fender Custom Shop, and he does a lot for them. He can build you a killer regular looking Strat, kind of like this one. Or if you've got the sweet tooth for something fancy, he could build you a flower Stratocaster. Or how about an iguana quilt top? Just take a look at that back and the flamed sides. If these aren't quite your style, well how about a rose Stratocaster? I mean, look at this thing. It might not be to everyone's taste, but I think everybody can agree that these are works of art. It takes a long time to make a guitar look like this. And it also takes a boatload of money. But the most expensive one that I'm aware of is this one. The $850,000 Strat that I'm pretty sure I helped sell by making this video because it was listed as purchased very shortly after. So let's take a closer look at the blue Stratocaster. I wanted to share this one because I felt it was a little bit more tame than some of the higher end ones that he's done, but it's still beautiful and very playable. And by playable, I mean it's not overly fancy. It's still spectacular, but there's nothing that makes you want to not play this thing, like gems falling off. And it's not like the fancy Telecaster version of this one that had the gold inlays and the dragon on the front. Although this is also a very beautiful guitar, it just seems to be a bit too fancy looking for most musicians, in my opinion. So this one features an alder body with a triple A maple top. Now I can't quite see any photos that show you where the top ends and the body meets, so we'll just have to be confused about that for this episode. But it's loaded with a Seymour Duncan antiquity humbucker in the bridge and two 1960s style Stratocaster pickups. But what's kind of cool about these is they've got the gold lipstick covers over them. You also have three golden knobs, your traditional five-way toggle switch, and a gold output jack plate on the front, as well as a blindingly gold bridge. I love the way this gold looks with this royal blue finish. The photographer did an excellent job pairing it with the black background. But you're probably curious, uh, there's something else missing here. Here's what I really like about this one. It still has a pick guard, but it's not plastic. It's also AAA flamed maple. So it doesn't alienate you kind of like some of the other super fancy flame top strats. It still looks familiar. And when you flip it to the back, you can start seeing that alder body wood grain. It's nothing too crazily fancy back here. You just have your traditional white back plate, but a golden neck plate. But here's where things get really cool. Look at this headstock. Mm. I love that the neck, the whole entire thing, is also in the royal blue finish. And on top of that, it's bird's eye maple. Sometimes bird's eye can look good, sometimes it can look bad. This is definitely choice bird's eye in my opinion. And you can see there's definitely no dead spots up or down this neck. But you're gonna notice, huh, where's our skunk stripe? I'm not a Fender historian, I'm not really sure when they used that or didn't, but this is a separate maple fretboard. This way they didn't have to ruin the vibe on the back. So overall, I think this thing is just a beautiful fancy guitar that I would love to do a full review and demo on. However, there's a little bit more to the story on this one. This instrument is listed on Reverb right now. You can buy it today for the low price of $17.99.5. Just a little over $18,000 once you throw in shipping and it's offered by a shop called 312 Guitars. I've actually visited the shop before I became a dealer because I was interested in his GA79 RVT 60s Gibson amp. I went there, I tried it out. I wasn't really in love with it, but I traveled so far. I said, well, if you can meet me at the train station on my way back, I'll take it. But at the same time, I was also buying a spotlight special. I ended up having like a mental breakdown because this was before, you know, I had any type of money. I was spending everything in my bank account. And I've always been pretty responsible with my money, but spotlight specials, they were an addiction. I put myself in some very hard financial times because of those. There was actually a point in time when I was going to drop out of college to get my deposit back in order to buy one, but hey, instead I got a loan from the bank. 
But funny side story aside, this is not the first time this instrument has been for sale. It was first listed by Wild West Guitars at 11999 Now, I'm not quite sure what happened that 312 Vintage Guitars ended up getting it. Maybe they purchased it from there or the person who bought it from Wild West traded it in. That story is a little bit of a mystery, but Wild West Guitars always seems to buy and market these Yuri Shishkov masterpieces. If you're confused why it's now $6,000 more expensive, well, that's just kind of how it goes with a guitar like this. You're not really paying for the woods or materials, you're paying for rarity, beauty, and what it represents. So an instrument like this, asking prices are usually all over the place. So if you need a beautiful Stratocaster in your life, it is available. Now, unfortunately, I do not see any videos of this one in action. However, I will play you a snippet of another Yuri Shishkov creation. The only question left, would you rock the blue Yuri Shishkov Stratocaster or not? Leave your answer down in the comment section below. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Share the video with a friend who you think might enjoy it. And we will see you tomorrow on the next episode. Take care.